This one, a lot of people have not heard about. Hey, it's Keith with Yarbrough and Sons Heating and Cooling and Plumbing. I'm here today to talk about filtration. Very important part of your HVAC system. First thing we're gonna look at is MERV rating. So all filters are rated by their MERV. That's the amount of particles they can actually collect is what that's rated off of. The higher the number, uh, the better the filtration is. And when I say that, I, I gotta be careful when I say the better the filtration, because what are we actually looking for? We're looking for airflow to go through your system. And that's where we run into the biggest problem is definitely doing on airflow, but just an indication on MERV rating, they usually start around eight. There are some cheaper filters than that even, but I would not go lower than a MERV eight rated filter. Uh, that's what I use on my house. I also suggest always doing a pleated filter. I seem to like those a lot better. It's kind of your hog hair and all your, just the cheapo depot filters. Now, I'm not against cheap filters. Like I said, I use a Merv 8 in my house. Uh, one of the reasons I use a Merv 8 in my house because it's only one inch filters that go in there. And I wanna make sure I get as much airflow to my system so I don't cause other problems. With that Merv rating, you could go up to 16, Merv 16, you could go even higher than that if you start getting into all the HEPA filters and all that good stuff. But if you're gonna go with a higher Merv rating, I do suggest having a thicker filter than a one inch. Lots of customers do MERV 13 filters that are these one inch, and I have found that the uh, static pressure drop across them is very high, and we want to, that would be an indication that we're not getting enough airflow through that filter. Airflow is very important, and you want to make sure you have as much airflow going to your system as you're supposed to. Definitely have somebody out to check and make sure that your system is getting enough airflow, and whatever filters you have been using, I don't suggest changing a whole bunch. You wanna kinda of keep, find a filter and that be your filter to go to. Especially if you have somebody coming out and if they're bringing filters themselves, like we, we supply filters for all our maintenances, uh, we definitely wanna make sure that you're getting enough airflow and you changing the filter will change that. So if I had a Merv 8 and that's what I put in your system and I said, yeah, your system looks good, everything's running good, if you go out and get a MERV 13, and depending on the brand, you could have a filter that might as well be cardboard because uh, you're not getting any airflow through there. And with that, not only are you uh, getting less airflow, you're actually, uh, if it is running okay, you're dropping your efficiency in your system. So that can cost you more in the long run. So you bought an expensive filter now, and uh, now you're getting no airflow, so you're paying more on your electric bill too. So. I'm a big believer of having a filter that is less than MERV rating, and then I'm going to have something on my device to help that filter pick up more dirt. So what I actually have is an iWave on my house. Now there's other devices you can do, Phenomenal Air, Remy Halos, they're all good devices that can help you fight some of those problems you're having with picking up dirt, and they're not as good as having the higher end filter, but it's a, a good add-on that will keep you from having to change a whole bunch of stuff on your system to where as the next one, you'd have to do a little bit more work. These are a lot less costly and they don't really have too much maintenance to them. On upgrading, if you want the best of the best, well, first you can have that add-on and top any of these you can, you can stack on top of each other, but if you wanna know where I'm at and in the future, what I wanna to do to my house, you know, everything's about having the money, but upgrading your filtration system. So a lot of people will have the one inch filter. It'll be usually in a grill or something like that. And that's fine. The problem is not only does that filter need to be one that doesn't collect all the little particles that are gonna cause all your allergy problems, but they also have a problem where they do leak past them. I see a lot of dirt leaking past those filters. And so that's always a good indication that we want to change the way our filtration system is. And we change the way this filtration is by probably putting a filter at your actual system. That way we're collecting all that dirt in one area right before it goes into the system. Not only that, we can put a thicker filter and with that thicker filter, we'll have more surface area. So we can look at having like a MERV 16 filter. Now, like I said, this comes with cost. You're gonna to have to pay more for filters because a MERV 16 filter, it gets kind of pricey, a lot more than that one inch filter will. But 
your filter will one last longer because usually they go for six months to a year as opposed to a month to three months. You're also going to be looking at collecting more dirt uh, with them. We've done tests here. Uh, we have videos in the past where we've actually put together a, an actual system that filters air and we just put a different types of filters and have a little ball in there. It's kind of a neat little video to kind of show you the difference in the filtration of different filters uh, and the airflow. If you haven't had a chance to check that out, I highly recommend going to our YouTube channel and watching it because it's really interesting to see how these different filters affect the actual flow of airflow through a system. With that, we are always wanting you to be aware of different things on your system. Uh, filtration is a very, very important one because without airflow, we're not cooling, we're not heating. So make sure you're checking your airflows at least every month. Make sure they're clean and available to have the airflow you need. Any questions, definitely feel free to comment below. You can always call us at our office or definitely check out our website at yarbroughandsons.com. And if you're a homeowner in the Oklahoma City metro area, we'd love to be the team that you call on. Thank you guys. Yarbrough.